Today I'm going to show you how to get the Season 8 Community Day Flag, Community Scorecard, Emote, Evan Flintlock, Celestial Seed Sales, and a potential chance at the Gilded Phoenix Weapons, Obsidian Capstan, and Obsidian Six Pack. Alright, first things first, let's just get the general Community Day stuff out of the way. So, if you don't know, once a season, see if these will do this massive event called Community Day. Essentially, they just kind of go all out for a big party once a season, and we get tons of cool items. Now, Season 8 starts right now as this video goes up. It'll last for 24 hours, so that is February 11th at 10 a.m. UTC time until February 12th at 10 a.m. UTC time. So you have exactly 24 hours to do all this stuff. Alright, now, first off, just quickly, because you'll probably notice this just by playing, during community day there will be a gold reputation and renowned multiplier that will be increased slowly throughout the day by people tweeting or interacting with tweets with hashtag sea of thieves community day now we don't know how much this multiplier will give us the most it has ever given us is 3.5 times gold reputation and renown also it has not been confirmed if allegiance will be buffed this community day it looks like it probably won't be based on wording they've never mentioned it uh but who knows all right, now that we've got the general stuff out of the way, let's talk about the actual rewards. So, first of all, by simply logging into the game, you'll get the Season 8 Community Day Flag and the Community Scorecard Emotes. These will be automatically added to your inventory once you log in. Sometimes there are issues with these kinds of things and they take a bit, so if you don't have the items after 72 hours from when you logged in, open a support ticket with the link in the description. But they should just be automatically added to your inventory. Next up, we have Twitch Drops. Now, these are some old drops. Now the first of these drops is the Celestial Seed Sales. Now if you don't know what these are, these are really old sales. They were available from a Twitch Prime promotion between November 2019 and January 2020. So it's been over three years since these were obtainable, which means it's been longer than half of the game's lifetime since they have been obtainable. So um, yeah, I would pick these up if I were you. And that's not even all of the drops. After you get the Celestial Seed sales, if you watch for another hour, you will get the Ebon Flintlock Pistol. This is also quite old. The last time it was available was the first ever orb stream, which was back in 2021. So also a pretty nice drop. And sorry, if you don't know how Twitch drops work, all you have to do to get these is watch a Sea of Thieves streamer, not a partner streamer, just any streamer, play Sea of Thieves for one hour and you'll get them. If you need help setting anything up, you can follow the link in the description to my previous Twitch drops video. Now that's not all regarding Twitch. Once Community Day goes live, Sea of Thieves itself will also be going live, hosting their Community Day stream. Now, this isn't just any stream. Throughout this stream, or maybe at the end, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work, they will be giving away Gilded Phoenix weapon sets. Now, if you don't know what a Gilded Phoenix weapon set is, it's these. Arguably one of the rarest weapon sets in the entirety of the game. So, um, if you want them, go watch. They'll only be given to a couple people, though. They aren't giving away lots of them, but if you want them, try try to get them. I don't know how they're doing it yet, but I'll leave a link to the channel in the description. Now, the next thing that's kind of up for grabs is the Obsidian Capstan and Obsidian Six Pack. Now, these ones are weird, and it's again like a chance thing, like the uh, Gilded Phoenix weapons. Now, basically, the idea of this is there's going to be a whole bunch of like community managers and stuff around just playing see if these on Community Day, spreading the Community Day cheer. And a bunch of them will be running around with these two sets of sails, either the deckhand or the quartermaster sails. If you run into either of these crews, occasionally, some of them will be carrying around obsidian six packs and obsidian caps and codes to just give away to people. Again, completely chance based, uh, but I thought I'd let you know just in case you happen to see one of these sails on the waves. Quartermasters and deckhands are also super cool people, so go say hi and uh, yeah. All right, now we're done with the actual like time limited items, but there's still a couple other things I just want to go over quickly. First of all, there is a sale in the Empire Emporium starting today. It'll last for five days. It's like a Valentine's Day sale. So there'll be a whole bunch of items on sale. So if you want something to spend your ancient coins on, there you go. Also, if you go to the Sea of Thieves store, or I guess the rare store, and use code Community Day on Community Day, you'll get 30% off any Sea of Thieves merchandise. And then the last and final thing is I just wanted to point out in a lot of the promotional images for Community Day, there are some weird things. Like for instance, in this shot, there is a gold, gold hoarder skull, I think. It, it looks gold to me, it could just be the lighting, but I think it looks pretty gold. Also on the right here, those are Lissetti's hat feathers, like the mystery stuff. In this other shot, there's a Merchant Alliance dress. And in this one, there's a new speaking trumpet that I've never seen before. So yeah, there's some weird stuff in the promotional art for this. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much everything. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible, and I will see you guys next time.